down here, this is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Now Newton on third and goal. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. D.J. Moore, a five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, it's tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is down to two. Cat and Zero out now as he'll kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them need up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. To throw on second is Watson. Forced out to his left. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a chance at all. Way easier said than Two done. Two Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Throwing on third down, Watson escaping the pressure right. Going up top for Miller. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. It's a big play on third down for the Texans. 45 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. Fights off the defender. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. time for a break we'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this hey, blue lady. Blue lady. they'll run it again with Miller and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 a pickup of 11 and a Texans first down well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. eluding the pressure right and this is caught and that could seal it it's a touchdown so he scrambled right but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target as you know in this game sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble he did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. 
And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Carolina getting set to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. And that's 6-4, 6-4. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Texans say they have it. They do. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had it, having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Lamar Miller. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> we got control of this thing. Get him behind it. And now Miller hit, and he fumbles. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Sliding out of the pocket. His throw incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Down. Green, down. And Watson's going to throw it here. Flush to his right. On the right side, this is Miller. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll lead here to a third down. Richmond, Richmond. Come back, come back. Watson now to throw. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Charlotte, good night, everybody.
EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails. Over the end line. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. And the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. 
So a defensive brain lapse there and an encroachment penalty. Sometimes when you don't watch the football and make sure that it's snapped, you're watching the offensive player, and they can influence you occasionally and look like they're getting ready to move, and the officials don't detect it. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Now the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. And his first pass is incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. 10, green, the line. Green, the line. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson escaping the pressure right. Dumps it complete to Miller. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make it third down. Accepted. Picked off at the 40. And the return will stop right around the 25. Thomas, the intended target. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Prescott from the gun. And it's caught. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Point after try, forthcoming. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 
Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Come back, come back. Green, the line. Green, the line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence in there to sack him for a loss of six. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Dagger, Unfortunately, dagger, dagger. the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Come back, come back. Ah. On second down, here's Watson. Polluting the pressure right. Big hold of the 30. And he will find his man for the first time, Demarius Thomas. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. First catch there for Thomas. It's a first down. Now a first carry for Lamar Miller. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, so many times we look at a short run, and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jamarcus Lawrence in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. The Texans send the punter out. Back deep is Tavon Austin. Here's Austin. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A very solid gain of 27. First down, Prescott. And Beasley with it over the middle. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. The give is to Elliott. And a short gain down to about the 33. Tackle made by Whitney Merciless. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. He can't get him down. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. The extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Target, target, target. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Watson on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Watson. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side. He's got a man complete. A big 30-yard play on third. Well, they just treated third and long as simply an opportunity to make an even bigger play. Normally, you're just trying to pick up the first down, and you know where the sticks are. They took this thing way downfield. Confidence in the receivers to go up and make a play, even with defenders around them. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. Hey. 
Here's a give to Miller. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line, linebackers really work well together. The offense staying out. They're going to go on come fourth back, and two. Back. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Taco Charlton. He's the one who finally gets him down for what will wind up being a loss of 16 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First down, on the move to his left. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Was trying to extend the life of that play, wasn't he? Got out of the pocket, ended up scrambling off to his left, trying to find someone, anyone open downfield to try and make a big-time play. I thought he had an opening there for a second, but that window closed pretty quickly. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. When big runs occur, sometimes there's a sense that things were pretty easy, and that one carried him down inside the 10. But getting into the end zone now, that won't be easy at all because you're going to face different defenses and not as much real estate to work with. Will they be able to run it, or will they have to throw it in order to try and score? Now Elliott. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Prescott now on second down. Being chased out left. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Jadevian Cloudy. Able to run him down for a loss of a yard. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. Losing yardage back at the 12. He loses four, and it brings up four. Brandon, I believe that they were in four-down territory, and that's what they were thinking. But after the loss, <laughs> I've got to kick the field goal. No way I'm going to go for it in this situation. But you know some of these coaches, they're extremely unpredictable, and they may go ahead and press it. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. Richmond, Richmond. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. 
Now a first down throw. Watson flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second Black quarter, a lot of time to Black. change things. Black 22! Black 22! Come back, come back! Richmond, Richmond! Come back, come back! On second and ten, Watson. Miller on the catch over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Watch the motion. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Richmond, Richmond. On first and ten, Watson. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. He's come a long way since his time at Georgia Tech. What did he run at Tech? He ran hitches and, and go routes, essentially. Yeah. I mean, but he ran them really well. He averaged well over 20 yards a catch while he was there. And he still creates downfield in the NFL. That big body and that willingness to go catch the football. He's pretty impressive. And his friends call him Bebe, the nickname his uncle gave him back in the day. He steps away, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He's going to look deep down the field into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Staying on the ground. This time it's Smith. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? 46. Second down, Prescott. 
He's going to go deep for beat. It got his man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And give him a gain of 37. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Jonathan Joseph there for the tackle. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No gain. A first down carry by Allen. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. A second down throw for Prescott. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. of seven. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first attempt this from 45. And this one is right through. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though.
To put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most half? Of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Jeff Heath, the one to bring him down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's Watson now on second down. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running... This is caught inside the 15. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A shotgun snap for Watson. Forced out to his left. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off Byron Jones. He's at the 50. The 30. 20. 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, Dagger, and now Dagger, it's Dagger. second and long. Dagger, Dagger, Dagger. Out of the gun, Watson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Cheetah Bay Alouzie with a pick. Couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. Well, the upcoming Super Bowl, so many storylines, but one that obviously grabs you, Sean McVay, just turned 33 January 24th, youngest coach ever to take a team to the Super Bowl. Double that age for Bill Belichick, who's 66, and Charles, that's the largest gap between coaches in Super Bowl history. Yeah, and when you think about it, obviously the age comes into play, but to me it's more the experience. The number of times that the Patriots have gone to the Super Bowl with Belichick leading them, versus Sean McVay's first time in the Super Bowl leading the Rams. Well, that game experience. Now, a loose football. The ball comes out. And the Texans say they have it. They do. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. But yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw him. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Randy Gregory in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. To throw on second is Watson, buying time to his left. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Jalen Smith in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Back now in Houston. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter.
Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Come back, come back. Come back, come back. Mike's by four, Mike's by four. Mike's by four. Watch the slant. To throw is Watson. Operating from the gun. Going deep for Hop. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return, but no matter, they've got the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Randy Gregory able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. Two Jets! Two Jets! On second down, here's Watson. Being chased. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Watson now from the gun, he'll throw. An unlucky number here, a loss of 13 on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Crash, crash, crash. Crash. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Try it here. He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside of the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now.